what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome my name is victoria in today's video i'm going to be showing a quick um 30 minute cook with me of the feta pasta but instead of using regular pasta i'm going to be using spaghetti noodles i actually like the spaghetti noodles a lot better but all you're gonna need is all of these ingredients and i'll have all of the ingredients listed down below in the description box so let's get started so what you will need is a can, two cans of diced tomatoes and a block of feta cheese and then a pretty much a package of the uh, feta crumble. You do not need the feta crumble, but I like mine um, feta pasta really cheesy. So I went ahead and had two, but also you can only, I use two cans of diced tomatoes, but you don't have to use two. A lot of people use those cherry tomatoes, but I didn't have any, um, so I just used um, some of the um, diced tomatoes that I had, and then I just crumbled um, some of the cheese over the diced tomatoes, and then I added my seasoning. So for my seasoning, I use onion powder, garlic powder, garlic salt, lemon pepper, basil, and an Italian seasoning. And I just don't, I don't do a specific measurement. I just garlic and just go as the flow when I'm doing it. Just make sure you go easy on the garlic salt because you don't want anything to get too salty. I forgot to also tell you guys, you need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And after all this is um, seasoned and stuff, I go ahead and put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. It depends how crusty you want it and how burnt you want it on the top. But I did mine about 25 minutes. Now it's time for our protein. I usually use chicken or beef, ground beef, but tonight I'm going to be using ground beef. It is really good with baked chicken also, but what I'm doing is I'm going to be grounding my ground beef, and then I'm going to be using the same seasoning that I used on the um, diced tomatoes and the cheese, and just, um, you know, sprinkle it on there, no measurements, just go with the flow, guys. As my feta cheese and diced tomato are in the oven, getting nice and brown and crispy and getting all melted, I go ahead and cook the ground beef and it takes me about 10 minutes and then also at the same time, I am starting to boil the water for the noodles. And then I'm going to be grounding all of this um, ground beef. I like to put it into chunks and then slowly I break it up, break it up, break it up. And then um, I'm going to be adding this tomato sauce that my husband made a couple nights ago for um, breadsticks that he made. I'm just going to be adding like two teaspoons of that to give the... Um, the meat a little bit more of a how do I like a soupy feeling so it can um spread easily in um the pasta So as you can see, I put on an apron because I realized after cooking in a while that I had a white t-shirt on and with tomato sauce, I didn't want my shirt to get stained. So I went ahead and put this apron on that I've had, had this apron for like years now. I got it at Walmart. So if you're looking for nice, cute little aprons, go check out your local Walmart. So it's been about 20 minutes, I've been checking on it and it's nice and brown how I like it. So now I'm going to be pulling it out and look how good and it um, looks guys and it tasted so good. Look at all that seasoning and it's just, I'm about to mix it up and you're going to see how easily it just mixes up. And after mixing it up, I'm going to be adding in my ground beef and mixing that up next.
so we like our pasta to be extra cheesy so i'm just going to be adding in some of this parmesan cheese and mixing that up also So now it's time to drain the noodles guys with this recipe you can use any kind of pasta noodles i have used um, the other pasta noodles like the spiral noodles but tonight i wanted um the spaghetti ones i've also tried the spaghetti way and i love it and pretty much you're gonna pour it in like a casserole and just mix it in like that and just add it and then mix it add it and then mix it I ended up using all of the noodles because after i mixed this last batch i added a little bit more and then i figured i figured it was too much but then after we were done eating i was like you know what there's only a little bit of the noodles left so i went ahead and just added some more to the pasta thing and then put it up for later guys this is one meal that we actually eat for leftovers um this meal never goes i don't know a lot of people when they make meals they the leftovers sit in the refrigerator and they never get eaten but this meal always gets eaten within a day or two it's like we love it so much that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any more of my videos and if you like today's video please give me a thumbs up and leave me down in the comment down below if you tried this recipe already or if you're looking forward to trying it again thanks guys until next time